What's up, Trekkies? Hi, so we're gonna start with a general console and it's all platforms news. By the time this video goes up, you only got about six hours left of this. Hoping to have this thing up by about noon. It goes till PST, I'm in PST, benefit. It's a flash sale, 30% off everything in the discounted pack section of the C store. It's flat out what it is. That's that, if this is watched after August 29th, 2017, sorry, this doesn't actually exist. Only from 10 till six, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So moving on, so I, get, so I can get like actual news out and get this thing up soon, is there's no PC news other than that. It's 1040 right now. They would have posted something by now. So what's going on is console news. Hooray! How that is, is the console is getting 13.5, which will add the Endeavor system and the Ferengi. I haven't been doing that. Oops. I haven't been doing the Ferengi trade admiralty at all. I should probably log in while I'm edited. Anyways. <whistles> all right. I'm, I'm off. The Endeavor system. Let's talk about the Endeavor system because I have been doing that one. The Endeavor system is little things. Today I logged in and did Sompek and it was deal 25,000 anti-proton damage. I was like, well crap, I don't have any anti-proton weapons on my ship. I mean, thought maybe one of my abilities, like the temporal rift thing that shrinks out in space, that will do any proton damage. I thought, man, and then I'm like, whatever. So I got into Sompek and was like, going through in my head trying to figure out what to do this and my temporal dual pistols those do anti-proton damage so I just kept running around like <laughs> just shooting everything till I got that thing done it didn't take very long because I do you know a fair bit of damage with them not a tactical officer amount of damage but pretty good mostly every kind of thing comes out of my fire yeah that thing's a beast it says every two or three days which is Monday Tuesday will be one Wednesday, Thursday will be another one. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It reset yesterday, Monday, after I had logged in and did Zompak. So it, I think it resets maybe around 10 a.m. PST. Uh, that sounds familiar, you know, it sounds about right. Anyways, what it is is, it, and it could be anything. Like today it was just do anti-proton damage. A while ago it was, Contribute to the fleet, so I literally just dumped dilithium and stuff. Was another one. Oh, do a foundry mission. That's it. Just do a foundry mission. There was actually one listed on it when I was doing that one that said quick, simple for Admiralty, for, for Endeavor system. That's that. Okay, so I'm logging in right now because I realized I did not do much on Fergie Admiralty. So I'm logging in to do some of those Admiralty missions right now. Level zero. Haven't done a single mission. So, we've got Ferengi Alliance Tour of Duty, number one. I will get 13,000 experience points and 2,160, and it requires 10 of each, because that's what these do. Let's select my oh, the Diplomatic Tribute, plus life crit rating, small ex energy credit package. Let's just send something boring. My long range science vessel retrofit. Oh no, let's do something. Flinix, the kitty crate. The kitty crate has plus 15 all when alone, so that's just always good. Because it just gives me a met. Like, I have a 66% crit chance on this, and that, I've only put one ship on it. Evacuate refugees from collapsing Ferengi colony. Oh look, 86,000? Gold press latinum? Yes. Yes, that is, what it, that is what it is. Okay. Plus 10 tack. Okay, that's my. Resreth. Where'd the Resreth go? I haven't been done. Di oh, there you are. Ignore plus minus tack from events. All right. Now we need. Here's the USS Rhode Island. Oh, no, no. The Pass. No, not the Pass. Let's do Crenum Science Vessel plus 8 Psi for engineering and tactical. I need 5 more science, 50 more tack, and 20 or 30 more engineering. So we need an actual tactical vessel now. A high point tactical. The Heavy Destroyer. Minus 25% maintenance per size ship. Cool, everything is done. And I have a 7% crit chance. Fine with me, get this mission done. That's 86,000 gold press latinum, good lord. Well, at least there's things now that give you gold press latinum. Here's a science mission. It'll award special items, which is just R&D material packages. It's a tier three, grant me one 
of the following and I get three of those and it just shows a list. Not really worried about this one because I have a lot of science vessels and can absolutely blast anything with a 125 science requirement. Including the multi-mission reconnaissance explorer, the tier 6 Vesta, which has a ignore plus minus tack from events and has 52 science on it. Okay, science covered, now I need like 10, okay, so we're gonna put in a Type 8 shuttle. Plus 10 all. Sweet. So, I'm looking down here, you get a lot of dilithium missions. This one gets me a single-use ship. Let's pass on, uh, let's get this one out of the way. There's another one, established blockade of Syndicate Supply Line, 51,000 gold press latinum. Alright, 15, 25, 25. There's that Dyson Science Destroyer. Alright, 100... Provide escort for vacationing Ferengi merchants. That's fun. Doesn't take much. So we'll throw an escort. Uh, Wells Temporal Science Vessel. No. Ryzean Corvette. Oh, that works. And then we'll throw a Delta Class shuttle on there. Sweet. All right. Let's do that mission. See, 90 engineering. That's easy. Wait. The VSS Tanius will work on this one because it's plus 50 all when alone. 23% yeah, crit chance. So yeah, it's good to get gold press. Oh, there's another one that gives more gold press latinum. I'm just gonna set up missions here. You can get gold press latinum if you want to get any of those little things, or you want to buy stuff from things. You don't have to play Dabo anymore. Huh. <laughs> so that's that. But it looks just more like generic stuff. Their 10 of 10 bonus is 30,000 dilithium ore, which is exactly the same thing as Klingon. So if you have a lot of ships, the thing is you only have a certain amount of mission slots. I'm full on mission slots as is right now anyways. So, oopsie. And so, if you wanna get like, you wanna get your 10 out of the way, you wanna, you can build up and build a lot of dilithium out of doing Klingon and Ferengi at the same time. So, like if you immediately have that and then you're like, okay, well let me, let me flesh out the Klingon ones and you can get the Klingon like six of 10 and the Ferengi seven of 10 at going at the same time and they will eventually build up and you'll get, you know how this goes. So you can get a lot of dilithium if you're willing to put in kind of a double thing on the Admiralty. And that's cool, uh, if you need dilithium. Some people do. I don't necessarily need it. I do dailies when I log in. I will chat with you guys next week. We've got probably more information coming up because that'll be the 5th of September. And that'll be a week before we have the Geordi episode. And hopefully there'll be some information about that. Or some pre-release information. Alright, I will chat with you guys next week.